This is basically how it works in Wall Street. For the hedge funds that commit all these different crimes and then once in a while, they get caught and they get fined. This is basically how it works for them. Rob a bank, steal $10 million, get caught and pay a $10,000 fine. And then you're free. You're free to be running your hedge fund once again and business as usual. How does that make any sense at all? If you or I, a normal person, were to rob a bank or steal $10 million from anyone, we would not get the chance to pay a fine for 1% of that or 2% of that and then be back to robbing banks the next day after. That's not how it works for the everyday people. But it doesn't seem like they play by the same rules. I will get my money. The story is called Monkey Wrench up until now. The cycle, the market goes up, hedge funds sell at the top, market goes down, media feeds retail fear, retail sees red, retail panic sells, stocks go down and retail loses their money. Hedges buy at the bottom cause the market to rebound, repeat. The only people who make money are the smart money millionaires. Hedges continue to cause the market to sell off so that they can continue to leech off retail and fear selling. Then came along the apes that bought the dip and held it every single dip. Apes continue to hold onto their stocks and buy the dip. And now the market can't go back up because we're not capitulating or selling. Kind of funny how the apes are the monkey wrench in the system. It is pretty crazy how it took until a huge group of retail investors to completely shake up the markets. What happened to waiting for as long as it takes? Lots of people are saying they're tired of waiting. Bad news, hype. Everyone at the start was all giving this however much time it takes. We know this is going to liquidate some of the elites and they're not going down easy. If you bought in expecting MOAS within a given time frame, then I'm sorry. This could take five years to come in fruition. It could take less time than that though. But the point of this is that the DD is done and we have to hold out. They will kick the can until there's no more can to kick. Scraping it along the pavement, wearing it away bit by bit. Your best bet as a long-term investor is to not really get caught up in the day by day. As a long-term investor, if you believe in something, if you think it's going to be a good investment, a sound investment long-term into the future, then you have to stick to your guns.